Now, 2 News Oklahoma weather. Tomorrow looks pretty calm in the weather book, but then we're talking about late Monday night overnight through very early Tuesday morning. The chance for strong to severe storms marching across green country. All hazards are certainly possible, including large hail, damaging gusty winds and also a tornadic threat. This is going to be a very late event later than usual, so make sure to have multiple ways of getting warnings while you're asleep again because of that late arrival of the storm system. We kind of have three tiers we're talking about for that strong to severe chance. The number one enhanced threat here. This is a level three out of five, the most dangerous area that we could see those strong to severe storms. And then we have that slight risk in yellow and then far eastern Oklahoma, a level one out of five or that marginal risk. We could see hail upwards of golf ball size in the orange there, the orange zone, maximum winds in isolated spots 70 to 80 miles per hour and the tornadic threat is limited right now across the far western portion of our forecast area. The Tulsa drillers playing once again tomorrow afternoon. First pitch at 1 o'clock 85 degrees 87 at 2 into the upper 80s for the middle parts of the afternoon. Still looking at high for tree pollen across the Tulsa metro area low for grasses and mold spores at this time. Clear skies out over the Tulsa International Airport. This is all part of Wade's RV weather camera network today at 85 degrees south winds now kind of calmer upwards of 14 miles per hour we saw those erratic wind gusts today out of the south southwest gusting between about 30 and 40 miles per hour is pretty strong out there upper 60s in muskogee right now 72 in prior and also in the Grove area on the satellite picture over the past couple of hours, clear skies over Oklahoma, but this is the area of low pressure sitting just right off the California coastline. That's going to give us that strong to severe chance later Monday and overnight. So that ridge of high pressure is going to slip off towards the east later tomorrow, allowing that trough of low pressure to come in later in the day on Monday and overnight. Drought monitor situation. We're seeing moderate drought around Tahlequah up towards the northeast and also in far northern Osage County and southeast Kansas, so we'll take some of that rainfall coming in, but of course not the strong to severe chance. Overnight tonight, a mostly clear sky, then for tomorrow on your Sunday, lots of sunshine once again, maybe a few high thin cirrus clouds coming in later in the day, but that is about it. We're down to only 64 degrees south winds between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Overnight lows, upper 50s to the low to the mid 60s. Tomorrow it will be warmer, 89. Some gusts, especially in the morning, upwards of around 30 miles miles per hour. Daytime highs into the 80s. The average for this time of year much lower at 72. 82 on Monday, 83 on Tuesday, early Tuesday morning, wrapping up those strong to severe storms, warming things up at noon, 81 for your Sunday forecast and your extended. It does cool down 70s on Thursday, 60s on the way Friday through next weekend.